Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on October 3rd, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Dew, giving you an update on space weather, world weather, everything else affecting humanity. Starting out here, looking at the last 48 hours on their sun, 304 angstroms looking at the large plasma filaments, erecting from the right side there from that last CME, as well observing that central region, northern hemisphere sunspot, waiting for that to crackle off some more activity. Last 48 hours has been pretty active. We saw that large CME yesterday that was documented, but also we're going to be looking at a couple solar tornadoes, very tall solar tornadoes on the sun. Looking at outgoing imagery here. Nothing major to talk about. Except observing that large CME from yesterday. Which will give us a glancing blow. As noted in last night's video. Looking here at the multi-spectrum. All of the events the last 48 hours. And right there is where we're going to be observing the solar tornadoes and as well that sunspot region definitely going to be keeping an eye on that and as well the earth facing sunspot right here but this is the region that i was talking about northwest side on the sun two solar tornadoes right in front of that sunspot They probably stand about the height of three Earths stacked on top of each other, just to give you an idea of how massive those solar tornadoes are. Quick look at ISWA Space Prediction Spiral. Still not much has changed since last night's video. Looking at Mercury coming in quick here for a retrograde coming up on the 10th, as noted in the Volcano and Planetarium Report. Solar X-ray flux remains just below B level, and as well, geomagnetic activity is in the G3 range. This is the last seven days, solar winds. Give a quick look here, the last 24 hours. Right now, we are sitting at 383 kilometers per second. Small spike up to about 420 today, and last night up to about 440. Nothing major to be talking about here, except for the phi angle flip. And that is the second image there, phi GSM. Looking at our geospace magnetosphere cut planes. This is what our magnetosphere looks like when we're being hammered by upwards of 400 kilometers per second solar winds. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in today. I'm happy that you still enjoy these daily updates, keeping humanity aware and prepared. Looking at our Schumann resonance for today, a power of 45. And a quality of 13. Power 42, power 10. Have a quick look. The last 24 hours for earthquakes. Pretty busy across North America. A sizable 4.0 yesterday in Stanley, Idaho, 12 kilometer depth. And today we saw 4.1 in Mentone, Texas at a 7 kilometer depth and a few sizable aftershocks there, 2.7 into the 3.3, as well as 3 point or 2.7 there, BC, Mexico border, and as well Morgan Hill, California, 3.3 earthquake, and that is just south of San Francisco. So San Francisco Bay Area is still seeing minor earthquakes this week, and they seem to be piling up all around the Bay Area. Looking at USGS, no major swarms to talk about. Just pointing out the Morgan Hill, California earthquake there. And as well, a quick look here at the last seven days through the region. I want to thank everybody for subscribing to the channel as well. Thank you for all the memberships, super chats, and donations. God bless you all. We are very close to 40,000 followers. Truly grateful to be here and thankful that you are all following along this amazing journey. When we hit 40K, 
I'm going to be giving a very special shout out live stream. So stay tuned. Small swarm there, Ridgecrest. Other than that, no major swarms across the United States, except for the Yellowstone swarm this week. I noted it, talked about it yesterday. It is duly noted today. There was about 143 earthquakes recorded northwest of Yellowstone and in Yellowstone in the last seven days. So pretty active through the region and as well westward word to Stanley, Idaho. Looking at the recent earthquakes across Hawaii the last seven days as well. Kilauea active lava summit. We'll carry on here through Alaska. Nikolskoy, Alaska, 4.5 at a 43-kilometer depth. As well, action coming back to Japan and Russia. Shikotan, Russia, 4.5. And as well, Katsura, Japan, 4.6 at a 10-kilometer depth. 4.6 here in Hangshun, Taiwan, 10-kilometer depth. As well, Philippines, Kalatagan, Philippines at 157-kilometer depth, 4.3. And as well, a 4.6 Tuban, Philippines, 10 kilometer depth. And Padagatan, Philippines, 4.4, 126 kilometer depth. And as well, a 4.4 here in Gorontalo, Indonesia, 80 kilometer depth. Pretty quiet through that region considering all of the deep earthquakes we've had recently. 5.1 there, Kermadec Islands, and Isangol, Vanuatu, 4.9. Central regions, Caribbean plate, Nicaragua seeing a 4.9 and pretty quiet through Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic. Pretty rare sight there as of late. As well, San Antonio de los Cobros seeing a 4.6, 200 kilometer depth. Many earthquakes in that region particularly. And as well, Alava, Peru, 4.3 and Equic, Chile, 3.7. Southward down in here, Arauco. Chile, 4.3. Overlooking Africa, no major earthquakes. Western Turkey, seeing a 4.2 at a 9-kilometer depth. As well, strange 2.5 Cilantro, Italy. Earthquake being reported there. 4.7 Murgab, Tajikistan. And that is the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Observing about 225 earthquakes across the USGS map the last 24 hours. Quick look here at the last seven days. Event from two days ago, 7.5 earthquake Vanuatu. Very deep earthquake event. And many deep earthquakes across the planet right now. Observing all of the elevated rings are the depth. Too quiet through Japan. Increased activity through Greece. Waiting for another eruption there. And as well, quieting down here, South Sandwich Islands. So expecting some activity to come back to the region. And that's the last seven days for earthquakes. Heads up, have a plan. We're having a look here at Windy now. This is the next 10 days for snow accumulation as we have winter very close to our doorstep here in North America, especially through parts of northern Alberta and as well B.C., all of BC pretty much seeing cold temperatures and as well snow moving in over the next 10 days. Up upwards of 30 centimeters of snow is going to fall through Wyoming down into Salt Lake City even. And northern Alberta will see upwards of 50 centimeters of snow. Wanted to share here the wind maps from Windy as well. The next six days forecast Pretty big system grinding into BC and Alaska this week. And as well, look at this. This is Hurricane Sam heading straight into Iceland and Greenland still. And then Tropical Storm Victor to follow. Give you a, a drastic look at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern. Very large low pressure systems. Big anomaly south of Australia. It's almost as if the North Pole is somewhere there, just southwest of Australia. 
All these systems grinding around there. Let's have a look at the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Pacific Disaster Center. As we do have still an active 41 volcanoes across the planet. We're looking at Sangay in Ecuador. Swiss and Ajima in Japan. Reventador in Ecuador. Sabancaya, Peru. Nevada to Rules, Colombia. La Palma in Spain. Popo, Mexico. Fuego, Guatemala. Semis Nepochnoi, Katmai, both in the United States as well, Languila, and Luatolo. So that's about nine volcanoes getting updated today, active and erupting. Those are just the updates. Overlooking the Atlantic Ocean, Tropical Storm Victor, and as well, Hurricane Sam are both still alive in the Atlantic. Have a quick look at the five day forecast here. Not much has changed since last night. And as well, we do have a tr couple tropical systems forming in the West Pacific and still tracking tropical cyclone Shaheen slash Gulab. As you can see, that storm has been spinning for nine days. So that's grinding up into Iran right now. Let's have a look at the five day forecast brought to you by BD Earth and as well daily events worldwide. Starting out here, home base, Ontario, as we had to cool down a little bit and as well some rain. And it's going to continue here for the next few days. Scattered showers and gray days ahead for most of Ontario this week. High pressure ridge building in after that, but some very cool temperatures coming from the north. The cool down is definitely beginning across Canada Cooler temperatures, Quebec City, and as well through southern Alberta, northern Alberta. By the end of the week, you'll be in the minus. Five-day forecast showing the low-pressure system heading north towards northwest territories. No major systems to talk about through Canada. The long-range forecast, it's going to be this system here coming out of the Pacific into Alaska. No major storms developing coming into the Gulf this week. We do have one system here developing in the long range forecast off the coast of the Carolina States. Could have a tropical system developing there. Other than that, we've got Hurricane Sam heading to Iceland and no major tropical developments after that. Overlooking the Atlantic big low pressure system that is hurricane sam five day forecast showing it hitting the coastline of iceland friday europe weather this week intense extreme weather system will be heading into italy expect extreme weather with that low pressure system grinding through wednesday to friday watch for some pretty extreme weather and some very fantastic cloud shots i'm sure Overlooking Russia, very big cold low pressure system there as well. They seem to be all joining forces right around our new North Pole. Just above Siberia. Overlooking the West Pacific here into Southeast Asia. Tropical system here getting ready to move into Hong Kong. Long range forecast and then watching another one there form that will be heading towards the Philippines. Most likely as a category four typhoon overlooking the pacific as i noted earlier pretty big system coming out of kamchatka and that is actually tropical cyclone mind jewel australia not much has changed since yesterday south america no major changes since yesterday either storms moving in later in the week africa pretty dry week ahead of you no low pressure systems watching a system here develop though in the long range parts of south africa you could see some heavy rains and as well some strong winds and that is the five day forecast i really hope you enjoyed today's video staying aware and prepared with morning dew 
daily events worldwide. I'm going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern, pointing out our very cold temperatures across north poles, so th- across both poles, <laughs> and as well the major systems spinning across our planet. Much love to everybody. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Bye-bye now. Please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.